Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Alright, hello guys, welcome back to another video. So I've been wanting to make this video for quite some time, but I actually kind of forgot to make it. But yeah, it seems like the same thing has been going on on TikTok for the longest time, and let me just explain. So one day I was just on TikTok, browsing TikTok, you know, because I don't know, I have no life or something. So I was on TikTok, just scrolling, and then I was going through people's live streams and stuff like that, and then I came across a live stream that was from this guy who had the TikTok name that spongebob guy or something like that spongebob guy and essentially what he was doing is he was rebroadcasting full spongebob episodes live on tiktok gaining many followers gaining many live viewers on his live stream and this is basically how he was doing it so i don't know he took like a tripod or something he set it up put it right in front of his tv turned off the lights only had the tv screen on he put his phone there and basically he would just watch spongebob all day every day for the longest time until recently as far as i know it looks like he got banned because i can't find him on tiktok anymore and this guy let me just tell you this guy had like 600 000 something followers like he was a big tiktok creator on tiktok he was getting close to a million and yeah he's not there anymore so i assume he got banned and go figure because you're illegally rebroadcasting copyrighted content that let me just tell you now a big corporation owns this content as far as i know if it's spongebob paramount is the company that like owns this content and they are actually quite a big company they have a lot of big movies out there right now they have paramount plus they have all these freaking things that make them money they're a pretty big company and let me just tell you now rebroadcasting their shows and like their content on live stream on tiktok or any internet platform especially if it's big is basically throwing you into a lot of trouble now i wouldn't say it's like legal trouble but more like oh hey your account's gonna get banned because you're live streaming copyrighted content that isn't yours and you don't have express permission to broadcast this live on your TikTok. So in some shape or form, this corporation is going to come after you if they find out you've been rebroadcasting their content on the internet and sharing it with many people because usually a few thousand people join these live streams. So that's probably what happened to this guy, that SpongeBob guy. But yeah, it turns out if you still go to the live stream part of TikTok, you can still find people rebroadcasting TV shows and movies so i was just on there before i made this video and i saw somebody rebroadcasting the original cars movie like you know the one with lightning mcqueen and i think you get what i mean but yeah there was somebody rebroadcasting that to a whole lot of people like over a thousand people and you want to know something about that is that basically before you watch any one of these movies say on like dvd even though dvds are kind of like non-existent i mean if i just try to ask gen z kids these days what a dvd is to see if they they know they're just gonna be like what is that never heard of it because it's old technology but back to the point i'm trying to make here before the movie before the disc lets you go to like the play button so you can start the movie you'll usually get this disclaimer now this one's not gonna be for like the cars movie in general but this is just gonna be one that i took off of google okay so here's that image they usually play this before like a movie starts on like a dvd i don't think they do this anymore maybe they do maybe they don't i don't know i know they do it on dvds i'm not sure about the streaming services they probably don't but at the same time this still applies and basically what this says though is it says this little badge up here says fbi anti-piracy warning and then the text says the unauthorized reproduction or distribution of this copyrighted work is illegal criminal copyright infringement without monetary gain is investigated by the fbi and is punishable by up to five years in federal prison and a fine of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars now i don't know if the same thing applies applies to like streaming services these days but as far as i know i don't think anything really has changed because these companies or corporations still own this content and they obviously have copyright protection on all of their work and even trademarks so yeah man just rebroadcasting this to tiktok is kind of like committing a crime oh wait it's not like committing a crime it is actually committing a crime and here are some of the other types of you know fbi anti-piracy warning disclaimers because they made new ones because some of these are really old but yeah i think you guys get my point maybe we shouldn't be like rebroadcasting these types of things on the internet or even like doing what this disclaimer warning says because no matter what you're distributing it to a whole bunch of new people and it's basically piracy and a lot of these streams on tiktok have donations on and they ask for donations and stuff like that so you're basically just rebroadcasting someone else's work and then monetizing it like no that's illegal and it's 
seems like everybody and their mom is just doing this now. And then they wonder, oh, why was I banned off TikTok? Well, look what you did. You broke the law. And some of you guys would probably be like, well, Brion, maybe they didn't know the law. Maybe they didn't know this was against the law. And to that, I think I'm gonna say, yeah, man, back in the olden days, maybe you should have paid attention to these warnings. And I mean, also, if you really want to think of it this way, just think of YouTube. If I were to upload, like re-upload a full movie on the YouTube, like literally just pirating somebody else's work onto YouTube, just think about what's gonna happen to it. Either you're gonna get a DMCA strike or it's just gonna be blocked in all countries so that people can't just like re-upload these people's work and essentially watch the content for free because when piracy happens, it's really bad for the companies who make these movies and TV shows and stuff like that because just think of it this way. They put a lot of time and work into this film or TV show so that they can put it up and basically monetize it on their own website or as a DVD, which DVDs are old, so on their own streaming website or on maybe a TV network and just things like that. But when you have people rebroadcasting it on online platforms, basically going around these sort of like paywalls and stuff, since these movies and stuff are not free, it just hurts the company and the corporation and the people who made that content. Because at the end of the day, these people are trying to provide for their families too. And they are trying to stay afloat too. And they put hours of hard work into this content just for it to get pirated on TikTok. Like, it's just not right. And it's just gonna keep on happening. And then we're gonna have a whole scenario on TikTok of basically what happened on Twitch. Like, it's just stupid. And it needs to stop. Like, people these days will do anything for clout. Literally, they'll just aim their phone at the TV screen and record whatever is playing on the TV just to get donations and clout. Like, it's really sad. But that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys liked this video and I hope you thought it was informative and hopefully I could spread some light on this whole situation with piracy on TikTok live streams and maybe TikTok will actually do something and take some action before a big corporation sues them. But yeah, besides that, I appreciate you guys for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button so it gets promoted more in the algorithm, the video of course. If you're new to the channel and you like this video, make sure you subscribe because I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section down below. But yeah, my name is Brion, not pirating content, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.